Hi folks, I'm Marcel back with The Pulse. Today I'm going to talk about a real no-brainer to me at this point, um, omega-3 fish oil. Do Not Age started selling it recently. They source it. It's made from fish. So if you're vegetarian, sorry, there are vegetarian versions out there of omega-3 oils, but they're said to be not as scientifically effective. Um, I started taking it a month ago with no expectation. I take supplements one at a time and just sort of judge them on how I do, how I feel. Um, as many of you know, creatine has boosted muscle strength for me quite a bit, so much so that I had to stop it for a while to sort of adjust to it, uh, allow my body maybe to catch up. I don't know how else to say it, but I, I am back on it. Um, I think the omega-3 with the creatine has been a good combination. It sort of uh, oiled my joints, if you will, and I seem to be dealing a lot better with it. I do look in the mirror. Many of you commented and said, hey, man, you're looking a lot better. I've definitely felt better, looked better, I think, uh, myself in photos and also glancing in the mirror. Uh, not that I sit there all day long and staring at the mirror, but I am very proud of the progress I've made. Um, yeah, I got a little tan this summer being out there playing a lot of tennis, but something else is going on because videos in years past, I've always gotten more tan in the summer, but there is something going on. And it seems to have tied everything together for me. Now, I know a lot of you know about omega-3s, but a lot of you aren't taking omega-3s. And it is the most common supplement taken in the United States. Uh, kids can take it. Um, it's very safe. Uh, it's said to be very effective. Um, it's great for a number of things, brain health, uh, your joint health, uh, also reducing uh, inflammation. Now, inflammation is something that a lot of these supplements do benefit you uh, with, but I think if I had to say what's going on with omega-3 for me, I think it has enhanced the effectiveness of everything. And if you look at it as a dietary supplement, truly a dietary supplement, something you're adding to your foods, um, I think it's just been, it's allowed everything to work better for me. If you look at the benefits that I've had from NMN, they've been more enhanced since I started taking this. It caught me off guard. I started feeling a lot better, a lot younger, um, less soreness. Uh, you know, I've been, my soreness, I can't complain. Like at this point, you know, just in general, in months past, I've been doing so well, but it's down to like zero now. Like I haven't had anything, and I'm and I'm sprinting. I'm out there exercising. I'm going at it, uh, pushing my sons to do more, and I'm I'm with them side by side. I don't just say go sprint. I sprint side by side with them, and uh, just haven't felt anything, any downside, any soreness at all since taking omega three oil. I do take one of these capsules a day. They recommend two. A serving size would be two of them. They're 1,500 milligrams. I've been fine with one. I may go to two at some point. It'd be an interesting experiment for sure, but I'm doing so well on the one. There's been some limited supply. There's been some supply issues. It's been really popular out of the gate, so they're, so they're on back order, I believe, at the moment. I never make videos based on stock supplies, so um, it's just something that I wanted to talk about, wanted to share with you. Uh, I, I'm I'm surprised, it, you know. I'm really, really uh, pleasantly surprised by how well it's worked out, and I can just tell you, it's been about a month or just over a month since I started taking it, and really the benefits I felt coincided with that. You know, about two weeks after I started to feel differently. Um, and I, I was, I kind of was like, is that the omega three? And then after about three weeks, I went to my wife and I said, you need to start taking this too. You really need to start taking it. It's so safe. There's so much overwhelming science behind it. You know, there's nothing particularly special, as I said, about the do not age one other than they sourced a very high quality, you know, fish. Yes. I eat it once a week. Um, I like fish. Uh, I know that it's healthy for you. I don't specifically eat the small fish that they made that are high in omega-3s and very low in mercury, uh, like the, the anchovies, sardines, mackerel, which this is made from. That's not usually the fish that I eat, and I'm not a big fan of salmon. So for me, it really is complementary to my diet uh, as it stands already. Um, I just, the more I get results, 
from dietary supplements, the more it convinces me to improve my day-to-day diet. So it becomes this kind of multiplier because I say, oh my gosh, if the, um, if the fish oil is doing that much, maybe I really should uh, eat more vegetables, have more nuts, have more healthy foods. And so I just keep continuing to do better and better at both exercise and my diet and my sleep habits. So it, it, it is a, a reassuring kind of thing that, oh my God, this works so well. I better double down on all my efforts. Not that I was doing poorly, but you know, yeah, there is there is temptation to in Germany to grab a pretzel instead of a cucumber, and I'm more inclined lately uh, to have a carrot or a cucumber. It's very refreshing in the summer to eat such things and just leave the other stuff alone. Even a, f- a bit fewer nuts, which I'm always snacking on macadamia nuts or pistachios, which I usually put in my yogurt. I'm just more inclined to grab uh, some raw vegetables and just chew on those because I'm so excited by the progress I'm getting. So big surprise. Maybe I'm Mr. Obvious today, but um, I think you can go back and look at uh, my videos. There's a couple of years of them. If you go back a year or two, I do think you'll see a, a difference. I think you'll see the changes and that they correspond to the timelines where I describe breakthroughs. You know, uh, the muscular activity, the fitness, um, everything has really come together nicely. Even two years ago, when I was doing before and after pictures, those after pictures no longer look that great to me, right? I, I, I think I'm doing a lot better now. So I may go back and make before and after pictures from just two years ago when I had such a change. Um, I find myself four years ago unrecognizable. I don't even, I look at the picture, I can't even believe that that was me uh, just four years ago. So uh, yes, NMN, resveratrol. By the way, I will mention, uh, I'm back to five, 600 milligrams of resveratrol. I was taking larger larger doses um, uh, most days. The only days I don't take resveratrol and quercetin for that matter are the couple times a week I have a couple capsules of fisetin in my yogurt. Um, I started this a couple months ago. I kind of went off the low dosage bandwagon with uh, resveratrol because I got to thinking, you know, I was doing so well and maybe I did feel uh, like I'd backslid just a bit and I wasn't sure, is this really aging catching up to me? Now I don't believe it at all. I still believe you can improve. Uh, I'll be 60 next year, by the way, for those of you that haven't kept up with that. I still believe that we can improve and we don't have to live in this managed decline, but I'm I, uh, for resveratrol, as far as that's concerned, um, I didn't feel a huge improvement going back to a larger dosage, but I did feel a bit better. And I do think that overall that's helping too. And I just don't buy into some of these mice studies, right? Some of them, you just got to take with a grain of salt and say, no, I'm a human being. I can take more of this. I'm eating healthy. I can digest this stuff. I'm drinking lots of liquids. So having a healthy dosage of, when I say healthy, a generous dosage of resveratrol has suited me well over the past few years. I've been taking it about four years now altogether. And I'm doing great with resveratrol. Why should I go to a smaller dosage? Just because it's kind of in fashion at the moment to take a small dosage of it. So I don't buy into that anymore either. Uh, But omega-3 oil, definitely give it a shot if you're not already. Maybe double down on the dosage. Let us know. Let me know uh, what you're doing in the comments now. And if you're going to make some changes or switch over to Do Not Age brand, see if it's any different. There are differences in omega-3 oils out there, and they do uh, take great uh, pains and effort to source really good quality uh, supplements, and they have them tested. So I'm a big fan, as you know. Use my code, The Pulse, if you do go there. And again, let us know how you're doing. Thanks for watching. I'll be back real soon.